Have you ever considered being an astronaut? I have. All passengers, please board and prepare for takeoff. Oh my gosh! I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Astronaut candidate Mindy Cohn reporting for duty and ready to rocket to the stars and beyond. I can't believe I got to travel into space. Well, not me. But my character, Velma Dinkley, does in the latest Scooby-Doo mystery. Scooby-Doo Moon Monster Madness. Just like Velma, I've always wondered what it takes to be an astronaut. I've got my top secret mission manual ready. Oh. <laughs> I guess it was so top secret they forgot to give it to me. Okay. Don't panic. It's almost go time and I don't have a mission manual. <laughs> We're doomed! Think, Mindy. Think. What would Velma do? Aha! Let's call my friends at the world-famous space camp. They'll know what to do. Calling space camp. Come in, space camp. Over. Hi, Mindy. I'm Bumblebee. I'm here to help you get mission ready at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center here in Huntsville, Alabama. Are you ready? Thanks, Bumblebee. I'm really excited to see if I have the right stuff to be an astronaut. Unfortunately, my mission manual is a little thin, as in completely empty. I was wondering if you could help me out? Of course I can help you. Oof. I didn't want to go from space ace to space case on my very first mission. So, Mindy, if you're going to go to space, you have to know how to get there. I'm going to teach you how to do a pre-flight checklist with the assistance of a helper named Caroline, who's going to be our commander. Hi. Are you ready? Ready? I'm so excited, I'm shaking in my moon boots. First things first, got to put on your headset. Headset is necessary so Mission Control can communicate with us during our space flight. After that, we then need to look at our pre-flight checklist. This will give us all the information we need to be successful during blast off and throughout the entire mission. So the way it reads is that you have your timeline right here, mission elapsed time. After that, you have your position. Then you have the panel that has all the information on it. And then the switches that would be on the panel that you need to flip or any information that may be entered on the keypad. And that's where Mission Control will really start to talk to you and give you vital information so you can really blast off. There's so much to do before we even leave the ground. Now, what exactly goes on in Mission Control? Hey, welcome to Mission Control. This is a place where everything happens to make sure our mission is a success. There's different positions in here. So, for instance, Fido, that's our flight dynamics officer. I know Scooby probably would like that position. Yeah. Then there's Capcom, which is me, capsule communicator. I talk to everybody inside the orbiter. We've got Caroline again, who's flight director. She's gonna make sure that the crew comes back safely. Wow, Bumblebee. You're in both the shuttle and mission control at the same time. You really are a master multitasker. So, mission control is ready. I'm ready. How about the astronauts in the shuttle? So we finished our pre-flight checklist. Now we're ready for launch. First, Commander has to turn on any type of system that we need to survive. Right now, Caroline is turning on all our systems that's necessary for flight. That would be our communication systems, our environmental, our power, and any type of component that's necessary for this orbiter. This is so exciting. We're almost ready for blast off. 20 seconds to launch. Here we go, folks. We're heading to the stars. At six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Liftoff of STS-1. Do you confirm, Flight Director? Roger. Wow, they're really moving. Not at all what Velma and the gang experienced when they went into space. Capcom Commander, how's the first stage going? Everything is going smoothly. Copy that, Commander. We're in space. I mean, you're in space. This is so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached our cruising altitude. Welcome to space. Now we are just in orbit going around the Earth. We do 45 minutes of light and 45 minutes of darkness. That's considered one orbit. And we're traveling at 17,500 miles per hour. Once out in orbit, our mission specialists will get ready for their EVA, which is their spacewalk. Now that our shuttle is in orbit, I've got about a bazillion questions about space travel. EVA, SRB, FIDO, so many things to remember. 
I better let the shuttle crew concentrate on what they're doing and ask another expert for some help. Maybe say, a real rocket scientist? Hi, Mindy. I'm Dr. Travis Taylor, and I'm here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And I'm here to answer any questions that you or the kids might have. So how do you breathe in space? There's no air in space, and that's why you have to stay inside the spaceship or inside a space suit so you can keep air in there. There's an air tank on the back of the suit, and there's a big air tank inside the spaceship. Can you tell us more about the spacesuits that astronauts wear? Spacesuits are actually very complicated, and they're really just miniature spacecraft. They have multiple layers of different materials to stop heat and cold and even micrometeorites. I never want to take mine off. I know. Can you tell us about the powerful rockets that get us into space? Earth's gravity holds us to the ground pretty good. And the way to get into space, you have to have huge rockets that have all sorts of power to blast you off the Earth and get you there. A lot of people think that getting into space is just getting to a certain height. But you really have to go really, really fast to stay up there and stay in orbit around the Earth. How far away from the Earth is the moon? The moon is a long way from Earth. It's 240,000 miles away, or 400,000 kilometers. That's quite a distance to travel. Now, is the moon really made out of green cheese? Unfortunately for Shaggy and Scooby, the moon is not made out of green cheese. It's made out of the same stuff that Earth is made out of, rocks and minerals. Is there really a resort on the moon like we saw in the movie? Welcome to the moon's first luxury resort. We don't really have a resort in space yet, but we do have an international space station. And there's always several astronauts up there conducting experiments and living in space. What if someone watching wants to travel into space? Is it a good time to become an astronaut? This is an exciting time for space travel because there's many opportunities to go. There's new spacecraft, there's the space launch system, and soon even you might get to go into space. Thanks for your help, Dr. Taylor. Sometimes you really do need a rocket scientist to answer your questions. Thanks, Mindy. I'm glad I had time to talk to you, and I hope to see all of you in space someday. Yeah! You know, I was thinking, how am I going to learn how to work in space or walk around on the moon if I'm stuck here on Earth? Maybe our favorite astronauts, Bumblebee and Caroline from Space Camp, will have the answer. This is the MAT. Stands for multi-axis trainer, it simulates a tumble spin. A tumble spin is when you're spinning on multiple axes at once, and it can be very disorienting. So we need to make sure our astronauts know what that feeling is like, and if they can correct it themselves. Last instructions would be to keep her head back, eyes open, and to remember to breathe. You ready? Yeah. My, now I know how laundry feels on wash day. Hey, Bumblebee, how do you train for walking and bouncing on the moon's surface? Maybe like a trampoline or a bouncy house? The 1-6 chair teaches astronauts how to move about on the moon's surface, because basic walking just doesn't get it done. So they decided to do the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. And Caroline's going to show us how it's done. While she's in this chair, it simulates one-sixth of the Earth's gravity. So if you take her weight and you divide it by six, you get the weight of what she would weigh on the moon. So first up, she's going to do the bunny hop, and she's definitely going to look like a bunny. So while she's bouncing, she doesn't want a lot of height. Because if she gets too much height, she won't travel. She'll just go up. In real life, astronauts don't have a buddy system. They are responsible for their own modalities or movements to and from wherever they come from. So you want everything to be controlled, right? Right. All right, so she's going to show you how to do a controlled side to side now. Last one is a slow motion jog. It pretty much looks like you're running in space, but because you have good movement from touching with the balls of your feet, you're able to travel far, and you don't get that much height because you want distance, not height. That looks like so much fun. I can't wait to do the bunny hop on the moon, or maybe the Scooby Shuffle. You know, space travel doesn't mean just going up, up, up. It's also about coming back down to Earth. We better get going. And while the space shuttle lifted off like a rocket, it landed like a glider. 
But even gliders need somebody to help them, well, glide. Fortunately, we've got Bumblebee and Commander Caroline on the control stick. Okay, Mindy, it's time to go home. We had a great space mission. Now this is how we get home. It's in our landing procedure. After we do our orbit deburn from our Ohm's engines that's on our spacecraft, we pretty much allow the computers to take over until a certain point. Once that point happens, probably about two minutes now, we'll actually have manual control of the orbiter to land it. So now we are in the landing phase. We've come back from orbit. Orbiter Coop, you are good to go for landing. Okay, right now, Mindy, we are about 3,000 feet per nautical mile and less than 170 feet per meter. Everything looks nominal here. Orbiter, confirm. I see your landing gears are down. Looking good and steady? Good and steady? Roger. We copy you. Touchdown for Orbiter Crew. Good job, everyone. Very good job. So glad to have you back here on Earth with us. Well, that was fun. We're back safe and sound in our mission was a complete success. Congratulations to our Commander Caroline and Bumblebee on a job well done. And thanks to Space Camp for giving us a look at what space travel is really like. This is a great time to want to become an astronaut with new spacecraft being developed and the potential of flying to the moon, Mars, or some other far out destination. We're going to need a whole new generation of astronauts to go to the stars. Maybe you can become one too. One small 